in front of me. Honestly, I didn't even know I didn't even know Skies was here either until like so. like ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I actually don't even think I've seen Skies like here. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. No, oh, okay. no okay. I thought I didn't know he had to shove either. Anyways. Can you ban James again? Just do it. Doesn't Skies play Bowser? Can you ban James? Uh, no, he plays Roy now. Ban he James plays Bowser and Roy, but this is like definitely toxic. a Roy matchup. Okay. You know, Sword. Peach gonna be able to mash on you really hard. You can just keep her away, swat her away with a bear and fair. Yeah. I mean, uh, like, the main. Whenever I think Roy Peach, I just think about Goblin versus Mutis. Sam? Because, uh, like, that's, like, the only. Like, the only time I've seen that matchup in the past, like, couple years. And, like, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure they always go back and forth. But, uh, yeah, I can't really say much about this matchup. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely, I think it might be even just for the fact that, um, since Roy's like a fast faller and then he just gets, like, his, like, disadvantage is, like, kind of annoying and Peach is, like, so strong in advantage. Yeah. Um, but this is definitely a doable matchup for both characters, oh, especially because yeah. uh, Peach just has Turnip and Turnip is so polarizing. Definitely. Oh, he tried to destroy him. Still has a jump, still gonna be able to recover. Good roll from the ledge right there. Definitely gonna be able to avoid the Roy ledge trap, which is like where Roy definitely excels in. Um, great back air right there from Juke Kane. Gonna be able to set up a ledge trap, double jump from Skies from the ledge, and not gonna be covered by Juke Kane. And here we go, we got another ledge trap situation, but good up B held down to be able to get the hitbox to come out. Yeah, Skies is holding stage control like pretty well. Yeah, which for sure. like may not be like the hardest thing to do That's versus it? character like Peach. But like, we, like it was, yeah, no, that was a good early up B because I mean that was a winky face too, so he was definitely dead if he got hit by that. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. exploded. Yeah, and also Especially yeah, Peach at the ledge. Yeah. Not not the not one of the better characters. Yeah, I mean Peach does have like a really long ledge roll, which is kind of crazy. Right. But um, besides that, Peach definitely not that like that crazy at ledge. Oh yeah. I mean, you have like float, which is also, which is like really good. So you could do like double jump or like jump float from the ledge. And then it like, it's like really good. But like at that point you're losing your float. And um, yeah, so good, great up smash right yeah, there from Jukane. Not, not, not one of the easier moves to hit is Peach, but if you get those call outs in the jumps, like, mm -hmm. and it gets a character like Roy, who's going to be jumping in like nine times out of 10. Yeah. So. And it was good because he called out the jump with the, and uh, Sky's like up aired, so it descended his hurt box, but. Right here, we're definitely gonna have to see a big combo coming from Drew Kane. This guy's definitely doing a great job of maintaining center stage whenever he can. There we go. So let's trap. Not gonna be able to get anything right now. And then we have reset neutral. Oh. Tried to destroy him yeah, right there. Yeah, if he didn't get pushed off the ledge, he was dead. Off stage. That was a. Uh, that was probably not the best turn to pull because you know at that point you have Roy off stage, no jump. You really want to like capitalize on that. Yeah. Definitely better better options to do there. Yeah, for sure. Good job, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was good recognition right there, knowing that he was gonna he was gonna probably try to uh, grab again. But yeah. think, uh, smart of Juke, knowing uh, realizing that it was safe. Good back out of shield right here. Let's see what he's gonna do to. He's dead. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Fair, ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. Fair yeah, option. I don't know about that one. Yeah. I think like. You float at ledge, you nair, and then you take the trade. You honestly take the trade there. Yeah, that, that's the main thing with Roy. As long as you get a trade, then you're good. Because what, you're going to take a hit? Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, and as long as you put, uh, as long as you like tech into the stage, or like as long as you like hold up and then like just up. Yeah. Beat. But yeah, now, the, uh, now because of that drop dead guard, he's still just struggling to take the stock. Can't, you can't be doing that in a time like this. Yeah. And then you're at that point where you're almost at up throw percent from Roy. Yeah, so, absolutely. you know, like you eat like two more hits, Roy has max rage. That, that was good because he held back a tiny bit with up being. If he, if he yeah. kept up being like normal, he probably would have got hit by that turn up. So, nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just hold center stage right here. You really can't do anything. All right. Great dash attack right there. And now you are manageable because you have Peach. You are Peach. You have Peach combos. Not gonna be able to capitalize off of that turnip hit, but oh, here we go, big damage right here. Oh, not gonna be able to get the back air out of this down throw. Rolls into this guy, surprisingly. All right. Oh, yep. Wow, that that was a generous hitbox. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, Juke was slightly bringing that back there, but like you said, like those couple edge guards that he dropped, they could have got, he could have got, cause like he would drop those 
but then it was still just like neutral play for yeah. like a minute. So if he like got it a little bit earlier, he could have brought it back like a lot like better, especially with Peach with the capability of like just doing like dare to fair and kill you at like 60 mm -hmm. And just like the like the like just capitalizing on the damage that you get, like you take those stocks and even though you're at a deficit, you still have the combo potential to just bring it all the way back. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But well, yeah. running it back to PS2. That's, I mean, oh yeah, we it's like the nine stage three band list, which, I mean, I'm sure that's like fair. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, and I'm alone because Johnny is going to play. And just like that. Yeah, I, I, well, this is this is why I have it here, and I, I don't mind, man. I, I literally grinded the streaming talking about game all during quarantine, so now, now it's all prepared for little place. So now, now I finally get to flex it, you know? Oh, of course. I don't have to be good at it, but at the very least I can bounce off of someone. True. But yeah, uh, Juke is doing a lot better this game. Like, like I said, the last game, like, I felt like he was reaching a little bit too much while doing neutral interactions, and he could just do stuff like that. To s not not just go for jump call out, but do it safely instead of, like, just swinging and, or just pulling the turn up sets yeah, in inopportune times. Yeah, you don't really want to, like... Especially Roy just has so many things that could like vortex very quickly and don't have a whole lot of frame data or you don't really want to like box or be very close at all. Like oh, yeah. when you do have a projectile, you definitely want to use it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. In any case, this is actually I wasn't really watching game one too closely, but this looks like a big pretty big difference from the first uh, game. Oh yeah, no definitely. It was I don't know if it actually I think it was somewhat close early last game, but then Sky just ran away with it. But, yeah, no, this game's definitely looking a lot better for I mean, Jukane. That's, uh -oh. that's per Roy, though, and that's kind of what you were saying earlier, right? Like, yeah. you keep your distance because that happens. Mm -hmm. Like, stocks kind of just go quick sometimes. I think there was a... Actually, it was Eddie came up to me in the last game. was just like, did you see the way Roy took that stock? And I guess it was, well, it was just like jab back air. They just go quick. Yeah, like, pretty much. In any case. Yeah, he's just, hold, he's just holding advantage very well. It's pretty pretty lit, I must say. But you know what? That was that was a, a Yeah, poor, a poor, like a poor, a poor turn up throw. He's like, he got me. Died at like 90 because of it. So still got to be somewhat careful because obviously we're always worried. Yeah, even if you have a lead like that, you don't really want to like, you, you don't really want to push it too hard. You know, like you still want to pick the turn up safely. You still want to make you sure you're not getting the stray hits. Because like, he could fucking he could low key kind of like die right now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what, do you, what, what do you what do you think about this? Honestly, <laughs> see, I've only ever played Skies as Bowser, yeah. and he just started picking yeah. up Roy, so I don't know how it would go. Yeah, well, I mean, what? Well, yeah, no, Jukane was in like full control of that game. I played Jukane a good amount of times, and he is good. So yeah, it was funny. He was, he was a he was a cloud player in Smash Four. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. And I, I remember that. Part of me feels like he played Cloud a little bit in this game. I played his Cloud yeah, in like played, friendlies. I think it was. I feel like it's the opposite. He's like he put main Cloud and played a little bit of Peach in Four, but I'm pretty sure in this game he mains Peach and plays maybe plays a little bit of Cloud. Yeah. I, I've I, never I, seen I him play know. Cloud in brackets. I don't know. Just yeah. Just messing around. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, he's switching to Bowser for game. Four. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is where you pull out the main, right? Want to oh, make sure yeah. you don't drop the set. Especially yeah, bracket yeah. like this. Yeah, and, uh, and especially, I mean, Bowser Peach has always been like an interesting matchup to talk about because of like, while you think about it, it's like, oh, like yeah, Flame Breath. Peach may not be able to do much, but like, then the uh, Thomas Simulator happens. Yeah, so. <laughs> and then Peach can just just go crazy sometimes. It goes both ways where she can. I mean, Bowser does that against everyone. You can literally just die, but oh man. Yeah. It looks and, like you kind of get suffocated. In yeah, this. and right now Sky's having a difficult time, like regaining like some form of stage control. I gotta think going like playing Bowser after playing Roy has gotta feel very strange. Different. Sky's plays a really, really patient Bowser. He told me, and he said a lot about his players kind of hold like forward too much, which he thinks is like a lot of people's fatal flaw. I, would, I, I feel like against that Peach, was, that you kind of want to be aggressive. Was, that, was a, that was a poor double jump. Yeah, pretty. That I was guess a poor fair. Any character that you, that could kind of set something up, right? Like you don't really want to give too much space because he yeah. still sets stuff up, like with turn up and all. Like when I play Juke, and I know he plays a lot in the air, so I'm always just trying to contest him up there. I feel like Bowser fair and stuff can do that, but yeah. And th that was like just a thing with Roy and Peach. Both of those characters are pretty like Basically, jump, yes. like air, air heavy. <laughs> they're, they're, both of those characters are pretty air heavy, so it was just a matter of who wins those battles. And game one, Skies did, but then Jukane got the like somewhat I wouldn't say download, but like a good understanding on how to hold like hold his advantage. 
Um, but you know what, dude? Uh, Sky's bringing it right back. He's not, he's not caring one single bit how much he was down. It's still oh, it's because it's still Bowser. Like, I feel like having a flat stage versus Peach, especially as Bowser, is probably not a good idea. I mean, I spend the flats coming is one thing, but they just got comboed right. <laughs> the whole time. Uh, it, that was interesting. I feel like you got pushed back a little bit by the flame breath. Ooh. Okay, that was good getting off. Sometimes getting off ledge versus Bowser can be can be like a bit annoying because you either like you can get caught by with your jump caught, or you can just get up yeah. shielded. Dude, especially as Pit Bro, that shit's hard. Oh, <laughs> oh that uh. was. That's yeah, that uh, it was awkward where he got like two frames, but like he just mashed a button. Cause I'm assuming he wanted to hit get up attack because he was flame breathing, so he hit like Nair, and because he had no jump, he wasn't able to make it back. So that was just unfortunate. Ooh. That's why I think it's dumb that you don't get your jump back from two, from getting yeah. two frames. Because in Smash Four you did, wow. but nonetheless, I didn't play a lot of Smash Four, so it's yeah, to say there there's some like changes between those two games that. Yeah, so, I, um, some are good, some are bad, you know, how it is. But yeah, Jukane, try not to let it get to him. If he gets get the stock somewhat quick, but oh, uh, yeah. like, just gets, if you just get hit by one piece of the five hit Nair, you just oh, get put back on the ledge. So and, uh, not a good trade for Jukane there, because not only did he take more percent, but yeah, now he's at ledge. But he was able to get back. But now the signs are showing from game one where Jukane is struggling to get the stock. Like game two, he, he was able to get the stocks pretty easily, but on Bowser, it's not as uh, yeah, not as not as convenient. Okay, Ooh, but get, oh, nice. oh, gets the really jump. Nice, actually. Not out of it just yet. If he could get like something going, but I don't know if going to ledge is the oh. play. Just these last hit situations that, against Bowser are so spooky. Yeah, I just watched him run around. Okay. I'm like, oh man. I right, did oh. that up air drag down, down to fair. Very nice. I'm, oh. so, I'm kind of shocked that up air is like as good oh, of a disjoint as it is. I don't think so, no. Oh, yeah. If he got like on the right platform, it probably would have been. Like oh. it gets clipped by the little hit of Umbrella. Oh my god. Like it's fair. Oh my god, almost so If he called out the double jump, that could have led to like a bad oh. sequence for Skies. But oh, what? Fair, ooh, you can tell, he, you literally saw it. He's shaking mm -hmm. his head because he's like, how the hell? I do, oh, I do no not way. like these fairs that Jukane is going for. They are, like, especially if he's coming back from a set angle, it's, like, too low for you to catch him with the fair. Yeah. So, and, then, like and, much trap. and you're just giving up advantage from it. Like, the two things I see guys do is get up attack or jump and, like, hold on to, like, center. So, like, if you just wait, like, right here. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Now oh, my God. Skies has some other form of life because all he needs is a grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was what? a very unwarranted. Oh my God. It, he tried to just drop shield grab. Oh that my was God. too, oh that my was God. too laggy. And you know what? The runoff, instead <laughs> of runoff fair, he goes from runoff back air. And you know what? That'll do it. I mean, did he do that at, at all during the game? You, That's probably worked. No, no. You, yeah, you saw all the other times he just tried fairing and like, skies would just recover under mm -hmm. him every time. Damn. That was scary.